Gary, thank you. Speak All allows autistic children who are nonverbal to communicate better with their parents and caregivers. It's been under development for years, and the app shows real promise in improving the lives of the children and their families. Joining me is Oliver Wendt, Assistant Professor of Speech, Language, and Hearing Sciences at Purdue University, and congratulations on this. Thank you very much. I'm really glad to be here. Thanks for having me. We'll talk a little bit about the idea behind this. The current approach to communication intervention in severe nonverbal autism is a picture book system where the child learns to pick up a picture from a communication book and exchange that for a desired item. We thought we can do that in a much better, more efficient way by constructing an iPad app that is particularly useful for children and families that are impacted by severe autism. Okay, and you can see the difference here. I mean, just looking at, uh, there's a little picture book with the Velcro, and then here's a, 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 a simple um, app, which I would imagine was not so simple to, uh, to construct. So when you were going for this app and you really wanted it to make it user-friendly, what went into that? So we put a lot of effort into the design process. We took a close look at what are the learning characteristics in autism. We were very careful about being sensory friendly, about not overloading the learner with too much visual stimuli. And what we also did is we involved parents and caretakers, teachers and clinicians in the design process. We really tested this app, several prototypes of it extensively in the field, and we gathered input from all these major stakeholders, and this is what makes the app so successful. Okay, so is it av available now? The app is available for free on iTunes, can be downloaded immediately. We have already had over 13,000 downloads within about a year. Okay, and then you also have something else coming out though this, this summer, you have a, a premium? Right, there is a premium version that has a little bit of a more polished user interface and it allows a larger symbol vocabulary. And there is a follow-up version, Speak More, under development, which we hope to release in about six months or by early 2014. And Speak More is for the learner that has mastered Speak All. And Speak More teaches more complexity, teaches language generalization, and basically allows the learner with autism to generate more complex sentences and utterances on their tablet devices. One of the things that, and I know we can't, we can't demonstrate it on this, but it, the fact that um, iPads have, have phone, uh, have pictures, have cameras, you know, and, and uh, that allows you then to take pictures of the, the child's uh, to favorite toys and different things like that. It allows you to do a very individualized um, vocabulary set, put together what is really meaningful for the child, and it can be easily done for the parent, for the caretaker, for the teacher, because the iPad camera can be used to take a picture of whatever is in the current environment. You can easily incorporate that into the app. Okay, so do you feel that that's really kind of improving their ability to communicate then as well? Yeah, we, we um, choose the iPad platform on purpose because the interface is very motivating for children with um, autism. It is um, socially very uh, appealing. It increases peer interaction because, let's face it, children on the autism spectrum, they would want to look like everybody else and all their peers and buddies have an iPad or tablet device these days. Why shouldn't they have one? Well, Oliver Wendt, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Gary.